Sheh Osani refers to Buhari's preferred candidate for APC's chairmanship as unapologically regionalist. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The Kaduna born politicians, public commentator, human rights activist, and former senator who represented Kaduna Central Senatorial District at the upper chamber of the National Assembly, Senator Sheh Osani has described Senator Abdullahi Ademo, the Buhari's preferred candidate for the position of APC chairmanship in the ongoing national convention of the party in Nabuja as an unapologetically regionalist. The former senator took his official Twitter handle to make this known. The human rights activist described Senator Abdullahi Adamu as a dologically conservative, unwaveringly, and someone who is subsequently loyal to his boss. He says Senator Adamo cannot be toyed around governors and that it's his, he had not to crack with limited tolerance. He said further that he's a no nonsense autocrat who is allergic to social media, man of history and experience. Below are the screenshot of a tweet of Senator Sheh Hussani about Senator Abdullahi Abdamo, the preferred candidate of President Muhammad Buhari, for the APC chairmanship and the ongoing national convention of a party holding in Abuja. Shein Hussani Post reads, Senator Abdullah Yadamu, unapologetic, unapologetically regionalist, ideologically conservative, unwaveringly and subsequently loyal to his principal, cannot be toyed around with governors. He had not to crack with limited tolerance, tolerance no nonsense, autocrats, allergic to social media, man of history and experience. Hmm. Well, let me um, let me say this, Senator Shehusani is describing this man as someone who is tolerant and and you know, it's like he's a dodged man. He's a man that you know, whenever he wants to do something, he gets it done. Well, um, that one is for APCU. Last last, this thing, all this thing he's saying does not concern us. APC people, over, over to you people. <laughs> I think he's advertising demand for them. Okay. All your mates are running for tangible positions too in Nigeria. You're here talking like a woman every day. I don't think Mr. Um, Senator Shehusan is actually wanting to. <laughs> I don't think he wants to for any position right now. Maybe in the future he might, but right now he's not. No, Shea is going to be the governor in 2023. Abdullahi Adamo finds himself what others are not strong. This is what God did. Hmm. Okay. Somebody is saying he's an ethnic bigot. I've listened to him at several locations. Wow. 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 Well, that's one is their business. This one does not consign us now. APC people, over to you. No man is too tough for the College of Governors to crack. No one. Most commentators forget Buhari has entered lame dark season. Most careers are not dependent on him for the next move, except that Bamangatuko is more polished and friendly looking. Hadamu profile fits him too. In fact, APC at this injury time will not honor with honeymoon period. The moment the governors unite, they will make his tenure hell. Those headmaster mentality belongs to a long forgotten era. Exactly. Somebody is telling me he's not he's allergic to social media, according to him. Maybe that is what one of the things they are going to use to, you know. But like I said, this is an APC affair, not a Nigerian affair. Okay. No one ideology can overwhelm the entire nation. At what such a person descends to the dozen of history and eventually into oblivion or suffers from heart attack. Let him ascend the throne and let's see how history will judge him. Is he going to be the first or last autocratic or a leader without eyes and ears? Nigeria has a way of dealing with those who set us back. They have always filled history and history has never been kind to them. No one cares less. We shall watch him. Let him not be let him be careful. Let him not be careful. Let him insult governors and other party big wigs. <laughs> well, let me say this. This is this is a national chairmanship position. Eh? For APC now. Eh? For those who are carrying this matter on their head, I just wanted to remind you people that this is not 2023 election. He is not their presidential flag bearer. The kind of corrupt hair bed regionalist and religious bigot who appeals to PMB close minded outlook beds of a kind. But immediately I see the 
social media allergy, I know her. This person is a, is coming from an analog age. Okay. Unapologetically be journalist is the exact reason why the sole choice maker picked him for a national assignment. Very poor choice. <laughs> there is a whole difference between imposition and consensus. Consensus arises when the voters on their own choose a candidate without any challenger. But when an individual nominated a candi candidate and insists that no position is one to be respective of the choice of others, it becomes imposition. I thought that these people are honest and sincere men, different from the politicians we know before now. But all of them are the same, insincere and dishonest men. The sole proprietor or kingmaker knows what he wants and where he's going, and the vehicle and the driver that will surely take him to his utmostly desired destination. The noisemakers are zombies from outside and don't know and follow blindly until the game is over. We'll see about that. Boo Boo can lie. He said he's for everybody. Alas, he had the anointed one. Of course. Look, of course. Ha. Huh. You're very correct. I remember his unsavory comments about Hetman men out of the South. You know him very well, and thank God he's the chairman of APC, will be the end of APC. <laughs> you people, you people are not just chill at all. You are not chilling. Well, like I said before, this one is a, an APC affair. If at the end of the day, him coming to APC will make them better or worse, sincerely, at this point in time, I don't think we care to know. Or do you care to know? We don't. At this point in time, we are not interested. Every All eyes are on the 2024 election that is up upcoming. After the APC convention, we are looking forward to the primaries. After the primaries, we are now looking forward to, you know, the main election. Those are the things that bothers Nigerians. Not, if you like, have your convention. If you like, do not have it. So far, you bring your presidential flag bearer out. You know, at the end of the day. We get to choose. Um, the election is no longer. I don't know about you, but the election is not on my mind. Do like that? Why? Because I've come to realize that um, this com this coming election. Let me drift a little. This coming election, we mean little or nothing without us coming together to dialogue, to tell ourselves the truth, and of course, to look for a way forward. Sincerely, it's just going to be like another time wasted and another resources wasted. Until let's 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 see maybe a miracle will happen before then. Maybe just maybe someone might appeal to our 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 leaders to do a convention that is going to set the country and the pace of development. Okay, on this note we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to